this is this is my father and this is his his great grandfather. That's Ross. Okay, that'd be great. Great. How you doing? This is my father's uh, brother, my other uncle, godfather, and another godfather. What what year did your father start the? He started way back, way back. I don't. As a matter of fact, his truck is so old. Way back. The first time they had cranks to crank the body up. This was before that time. And they would take and put dirt and stuff on the end. And these guys would, would get over here and push the body up by head. And this was my father's first truck. Then we wound up with my brothers and my father. After We wound up with over 30 pieces of heavy equipment through the years. When you took over? Five when brothers. What year did you take over the business? Took over uh, uh, when I came back from Korea in 1954, uh, 53 or 54. So there's pictures in Nutley? In, uh, yeah. This picture here was in uh, right, right on the boundary on the Belva Nutley. And this, this, this bakery is, was our practically a neighbor. It was only a block away from our, our heavy equipment yard. It's in the Cola's Bakery. Well, my dad wound up with, this, this was the, uh, only his beginning crew. He wound up with over 30, pe 30 uh, laborers uh, before we started getting all the heavy equipment. And yes, he used to take them up to Rockaway by the Springs for vacation every once in a, uh, once in a while. And they wound up having their wine, their beer, and then spread out through the mountains, picking mushrooms and everything, you know. <laughs> well, some say the good old days, I don't know, but you can tell by the truck. These tires are hard, hard rubber tires. There's no way you're dead. It's, uh, That's solid rubber tires? Solid rubber tires, right. And uh, my, dad, my, my dad first came here at 17 years old. His first job was uh, uh, making ice cream in Belleville. And then, uh, you know, they started the WPA, uh, working at WPA for about a dollar something a, a week. And uh, a little at a time, he saved a little money, he got married to my mother. I was wishing my mother's picture was here with them both. And, uh, and uh, he bought a little piece of land on uh, in Belleville. As a matter of fact, the street is only about 300 feet. He made the street. He put all the sewer water, all the undergrounds in. He built the first house on the street. He wound up with three houses on that street. What's still street? today, today there's still uh, one, si one daughter, one son, and two sons that own the houses there now. What street is it? At Burton Place. Your father built Nutley. the street? Before the trucks, they had, my father had teams of horses. Mm -hmm. Yes, for he had yeah, the horses. Yeah, they, they used to, how they would dig a cellar was first they go with, through with the plow, and then they had a scoop. They would take the plow off, they go with the scoops, and uh, and they scoop out the dirt. So, now of course, the corners were done with all the laborers because the corners were hard to do with the horses and the plow. Then later, they started to get uh, a bulldozer or, or loader or next thing you know. As a matter of fact, my dad used to yell at us. We started buying too much equipment, he says. <laughs> you got spoiled? <laughs> well, my dad died young. He died at only uh, 61 years old. And, uh, and we just grew from there, you know. And uh, as a matter of fact, the company is in the third generation. My brothers, my brothers, two sons, and we're the last ones with the company, down in Freehold, moved it to Freehold. Because the, 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 company, the property we had all the equipment on is now has 30 condos on it. Yeah, 30 condos on it. Uh, and, and of course, like I told you, the three houses on that street are still owned by uh, Your Ford. father like laid the foundation for this street but it's similar to like how all these families came and everyone 
you know, kind of planted in there. Right. And started like building up their families and they laid the foundation for the whole community. Yes, still all, still have the original, uh, I still have the originals for the permits for the under, my father had got, had to get to put sore water and everything under the street. But they dated back to 1925. Them originals. And then he made the streets over them, of course, you know. And uh, and that was all on his on his dime. He built the street. Huh? He paid for it himself. Oh yeah, he paid for it. They, they uh, all the work was done uh, with his labors and all. And what were you telling me you were trying to get the street named after him or something? Yeah, still today we try to get that street named after my dad. It should, it should Every be. Name, but it should be, yes. You know, there was too much politics involved. And, and still today, my sister is still trying and, uh, and I, I don't know why. I, I wrote a letter to, uh, uh, she's the mayor. Her father was a very good friend of mine, the mayor, Cacciola. And she didn't bother answering answer it. She's the mayor there now. Oh, wow. You know, she's the mayor of Nutley. She didn't bother answering it. Saying, but, you know, we feel that. Who's Burton? Burton Place. We don't even know who that is. <laughs> How did they know we do in the town? <laughs> it's Bacatoro Place, it should be. You know? It should. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's a pioneer here. Yes, and, you know, him and my, my mother went through very hard times, you know. We had 12, in our, 12 children in our family. Wow. Half are gone now, you know, but uh, they have children, and uh, it was hard times. The day she was at the knees in the park, uh, somebody there was there. A friend of mine was there named uh, Jerry DeGore, the father of Jerry DeGore, the mayor. And I said, and he says, oh, there's uh, Mario Zinicola. Not, not Zinicola, Toby. He is a Zinicola too, though, but anyway, his name is Mario Toby. And Jerry's father turns around and says, you don't know him. He's president of the, I forgot what he's president of, but he's president of the, some organization. Who don't know him, I said. You don't know him, he says. So I took him by the head and brought him over to Jerry. And I said, Jerry, will you tell the gentleman how long we know each other? Well, he says, I, I've just turned 70 years old, and I've known you all my life. And I know you're older than me, so we could talk about old times forever. He said, <laughs> and Jerry's father was shocked, you know. Right. But anyway, uh, we, we were very good friends. Uh, as a matter of fact, his father uh, told me once lived on Burton Place. And as a matter of fact, I think his father did. His father and his uncle owned one of the houses for a while. Then my dad bought him. You know, it, was, it went through a tough time in the Depression. I was born in 1928, my brothers before me. And 12 of us grew up in the Depression. And believe it or not, and believe it or not, my dad bought and built that street during the Depression. And uh, I still don't know how he did it. <laughs> that, that's strength. A lot of back-breaking work. Yes, work is strength by strength. And, uh, and, and he even bought one other house that he didn't build on that street. I was wrong. He didn't build all three. He built two. But one, one was built by... Uh, by uh, uh, Toby's father and his uncle, and then they lost it in depression. My dad lost it. That's how hard it works. He had uh, eye surgery, so he can't drive. But anyway, and my children are all in school. So. The rest is history, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of history there.